the uh, the the the. We, we 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 anticipated how much for the president's travel and he, he ballooned to his he you know because we left the president the presidential plane in the hangar while akufuado is using a flight a german made flight to travel all around the country you claim Akufuado is using his car, a Mercedes-Benz, in uh, uh, while working in Ghana. But while he's traveling, he's been spending our, our, our... I mean, this is not fair. This is not fair to Ghana. So, uh, is, what's the question? What's your question for the uh, Deputy Chief of Staff? No, I am not asking him any question because I I am I'm I am just telling him that you claim Nanado is not uh, the the singer, but you are while he's traveling outside, he spends so much. Okay, uh, point made. Thank you very much for calling. Fred is in La. Good morning, Fred. Yes. Kojo, how are you? I'm very well. Thank you for calling us, Fred. What's your question for the Deputy yeah, Chief Kujo, of To Chief of, uh, Deputy Chief of Staff, he should have known, Jedapo should have known everything. Yeah, I'm telling you. If Jedapo shouldn't tell you, I'm not update, I'm not this. No, no, no. Jedapo knows what is happening in there. Now, Kojo, ask Jedapo, Sura, Sura donation. Jedapo, if you are believed, and your friends are coming to sympathize with you, I need to take money from the uh, the top uh, the poor top uh, everybody to 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 donate Jinapo. I'm asking Jinapo. Jinapo, if you are bereaved and your friends are coming from the um um South Africa to sympathize with you, I used to pump your money into our South Africa. Let me tell something. I'm driving this morning. I drive four by four. Master, I find the car eh? And take drugs, bro, because I can't afford them well. So, you know what? I leave the car at the point, take drugs to the front of the city, and then take drugs back and pick my car again. It was not like that. Why so are you people punishing us, you know, for making ranting? The president is all like that. The president is all like, like we are no fool, so, you know, for I'm telling you. Mm. Oh, thank you for calling us. Um, let's go to University of Ghana, where Ejari is uh, is on the line. Ejari, good morning. Yeah, good morning. I hope you're doing well. I'm well. Thanks for calling us. Okay, thanks for the opportunity to end. Uh, send my greetings to Mr. Samoa Wujina for the Deputy Chief of Staff. Sure. Yes, I'd like to ask him that, um, I think when he was explaining, you know, in terms of the fact that government has not spent a lot of money, you know, out of the budgetary allocation, that parliament approved. He once also said that in 2014, the NDC government expended, you know, more than they were supposed to have done. And I am asking him, so since that was done, uh, does it mean the government is also not doing anything about it in terms of, you know, holding them accountable? Uh, because I don't think if you are supposed to spend 10 cities and you spend seven, uh, seven, 70 cities, it falls within, you know, our quest, you know, of fighting corruption or something like that. So what is the government doing since they have detected that that particular error was done? So what's the way of rectifying that by holding the NDP accountable for that? Thank you very much. Thank you for your question. Pig Farm next. Uh, here's Clement. Clement, good morning. Good morning, Kojo. Mm, thanks for calling us. What's your question? Yeah, yeah please. Uh, can Abu Jinnapur promise uh, Ghanaians? That the question that you ask him and he is not able to answer, will he finish you with them so that you will let the Ghanaians know, especially the, the school fees and then the friends that you were asking him and he was not able to answer, and then the funders, the funders that they spend the money on. Can he promise Ghanaians on your platform that he will finish you with the, the details so that you will let the Ghanaians know what is going on? Okay, thank you. Let's take one more question and then we'll get answers and then come back for another uh, uh, block. Uh, John is in Usu. Good morning, John. Good morning, um, Kujo and um, Jinapo. Um, this goes to Jinapo and I'm just a little bit confused um, about the figures. 
Are they telling us this uh, 62 uh, million Ghana cities? And uh, we can't even afford anything. We can't even afford, uh, uh, people are dying in the hospital and they have to spend all this money. And then, what, trying to explain himself, or is the, 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 the government, but I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not getting him at all. Okay, so, thank you. Thank you very much, John. Uh, so I think we have we have uh, five questions to go on, or well, at least uh, four questions out of five calls. Um, so yeah, Mr. Jinopo, uh, let's. Uh, well, thank you, Kojo. Hear um, you. The first, the uh, Uncle Kwame and Fred, they made they made comments, and they are entitled to 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 make those comments. Uh, Mr. Ajare asked about account uh, getting the NDC government to account. What it is is that they are processes the public financial management act and um the audit laws of our country the auditor general will, will audit the books of government and take the necessary processes public accounts committee and we do know that in some cases people are surcharged and uh, some other um, measures are put in place to make sure that people account for these conduct but i made the point just to establish uh, the fact that there is a lot of discipline, um, financial discipline, at the office of the chief of staff now, and which is why we've been able to keep within the budgetary allocation by parliament. Now, um, Clement is talking about me making a commitment to provide the details of FINRA. I mean, I'll check it out if um, I check it out, and um, um, I, I get that information. I will put it before you. I'll give it to you now. The that that about, information does exist somewhere. It should exist. It should yeah. exist, and I look for it. Okay. Now, could you the, the thing about federal donation and the rest? I think we need. I've made that point, and we probably will have to have that conversation. Now, if the president or myself or anybody is invited to participate in a funeral in our personal capacity, or we go there to mourn with our friends, we do make donations with our own resources. But as I give some example, there are some funerals which the state, not us as individuals, the state plays a role. And in, on, in those cases, uh, the, 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 the state uh, makes provision, financial provisions for it. And mm. I gave you two or three examples. Mm. And I find it very, uh, I'm very reluctant and uncomfortable in giving such details. Mm. Because but the cost be item, discretion. just to clarify, the cost item on this uh, list that we are discussing is funeral donations. It's not the organizing of a funeral. It's yeah, funeral funeral, yeah, I'm saying. So if the, there's a funeral where an official is invited in an official capacity and the mm. person has to make a donation, if there's a funeral which requires the participation of the state, and I, for instance, I'm delegated. I don't know the bereaved family or the bereaved person from Adam, and I'm delegated to represent the country or the state, and I'm required to make a donation. Mm. Uh, but it's something that we can look at as a country. But finally, how about the school fees, though? Uh, well, I said I'll check all of that. Mm. I'll check all of that. But I've, I've already given the context within which this may happen, mm. which is um, staff welfare and motivation and what have you. But I'll check that. Now, you know, the foreign travel, I think it's important we keep making the point that and for some people who are uh, with respect probably motivated by political considerations they may find it appropriate to put it in the way that they put it the president has spent 60 something million on foreign that is not correct the president has not spent 60 something million or 62 million on foreign travels i've given you the headings under which these foreign uh, uh, travels do take place including kojo mm. in some cases where the office deems it appropriate to support certain personalities for foreign travels for medicals or whatever and i mean certain personalities not government officials and i'm not going to give the details here and i believe that if the details were put out the ghanaian people will find it justified not government <laughs> official let me emphasize not mm. government officials but, but that does raise certain, the question yeah, you know it raised the question of the propriety of such expenditure bearing in now mind let me give as a nation we are falling b behind on revenue targets so is this the year in which we should be spending money on you know uh, hospital bills and welfare and school fees uh, the, the, this is the year we should all be disciplined this is the year we should have mm. disciplined financial management and i've said this on authority that the government of president Akufuado is very disciplined and guards the public kitty um, with with uh, a lot of care you know but we overspent on travel but, but let, let's also be careful and, and i'm saying i'm not putting out details i mean i'll give you an example when um president truman left left office in the united states 
and became uh, a pauper more or less and uh, you know the american people had to amend the their act which regulates the um, the conditions of welfare of their former presidents which mm. culminated into the former the former uh, president's act of the united states and uh, which made some basic financial provision and arrangement for their former president i'm not suggesting that th th there's a case of former president's medical bills being paid for foreign children. that's what i'm saying but i'm saying that in some very exceptional circumstances where the state or the government thinks that somebody we've all been in ghana where people people have paid their dues to our country either musicians or uh, entertainers or uh, public servants or people who have done extraordinary um, things for the country or have put up extraordinary conduct which um, help with the country and so on and so forth and the Ghanaian people themselves say that government mm. should have intervened in this government should have come in to support this particular person these are some of the mm. situations I'm talking about. All of those come under the rubric of foreign travels. And I'd like to emphasize that these foreign travel components of the budget is not foreign travels by the president. Now, the final one, somebody made a point about the presidential jet. And the history of presidential jets in our country, I'm not sure we have time to go into that. No. When President Kofor ordered for two jets, one big one, one small one, and the government of Professor Mills, may so rest in peace, elected to, to pick the small one as opposed to the big one and the proprietary or otherwise of that decision is another matter but here we are we have this falcon little jet which long hauls mm. uh, becomes very unsafe and you recall on one occasion where the president left new york or is washington and on his way two hours into into airborne the, the aircraft had to be turned around and landed emergency landing at i think uh, new york an airport in new york or so mm. or washington and became a big national issue we all discussed it in our country and the the, the panelists of the president the people who fly the president they make the determination whether this falcon is capable of traveling from say accra to washington or that can just travel from accra to tamale or lagos or the rest i know the president uses this jet to uh, within the country within the sub-region within africa the technical people are those who uh, are able to make the conclusion as to whether mm. this jet and th these things when you politicizes that one mm. uh, it, will so it will resonate with some constituency but no, I'm, I'm not here we didn't yeah, yeah i'm not here to do that, that. Yeah, i'm dealing with the issues as they are and i've told mm. you president akufuado the first two or so years of his administration and, and sometimes i speak to this uh with the heavy hat because i know him he's not the type who is interested in uh, extravagancy mm. or uh, so profligates you know the first two years he kept to this falcon this little jet which we sit i've sat in it a couple of times you literally cannot even move your leg but he sat in it for two years and traveled across the, the world with it uh, it turned out that this jet was not fit for long hauls and on one occasion from new york the uh, jet was two hours in the air and he had to be turned around yes i and mean so we, made we the can point. look at all of that mm. um there's no uh deliberate uh, conduct on the part of the president or the chief of staff to spend money why, why will he do that so so um, uh, i know that the president is is uh, is very passionate about improving governance structures is it not perhaps time for us to start making certain rules around things like funeral donations and welfare I see you are donations? Very passionate about no, I mean, it, no, it's not. Donations. It's not about the amount. It's uh, it's about the principle. The principle, you I know. And uh, you know, tomorrow it may not be President Tekufuado; it may be someone else in office. We have to make sure that there are things in place that make sure that nobody can come and abuse the exactly. system to their I benefit. So that's why I'm asking: Is it not time for us to make some rules? around funeral donations and other welfare items should there not perhaps be a, 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 a you know a, a particular account for that where you 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 request approval for a certain amount a fixed amount and that is dedicated to all such things throughout the year so that you can never spend beyond that and it's you. not a matter of discretion mm -hmm. you know what you spend on a funeral on and fees. who is qualified and indeed. what circumstances in which indeed the donation is it not, can be made. yes is it not well, about time we, we did that? that that we should have that discussion i agree with you entirely mm. now that said i can say also to you that when it comes to the exercise of discretion in terms of expenditure i'm very quick to say the chief of staff is absolutely mm. rigorous and um firm when it comes to those things mm. i mean sometimes to a fault i mean she, yeah. she will check everything out and make sure that 
uh, such expenditure uh, um, called for. Okay. Now, we can have that conversation. But could you let me also tell you that perhaps if you put a microphone be your, be before a lot of people, they will tell you all kinds of views. Mm. But if you do a, an, a quiet, honest interrogation of our population as to funeral you would be very surprised that this your view will be very unpopular okay well yeah, let's what do we do it in joy fm here and let, that let's see yeah, we, we actually have an attachment to our funerals and mm. the rest. i'm not saying that because of that we use taxpayers money but i'm saying in some uh, in some exceptional and appropriate circumstances mm. it may be in the interest of the office or the corporate good of the entity for the entity to show uh, some care or some gesture mm. uh, for purposes of motivating Stop. All right. Let, let's take a few more calls. Kwabna is in in somewhere. Good morning, Kwabna. I think we may have lost Kwabna there. Um, but uh, Edmund is in Awudome Estates. Edmund, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for calling us. What's yeah. your question? Yeah, I want to uh, ask a question. He was saying that uh, the amount you asked him on donations includes uh, staff welfare and all that. How, how possible? Like uh, motivating staff and um, giving them uh, bonuses and all that. Why should that fall under donations? Okay, uh, we've noted that question. And uh, you can call us to 0302-216-541-0244-340-437. Uh, bring your questions and uh, we'll get you answered. Shall we take a few more so you can answer them all together, Mr. Jinapo? Uh, Shem is in Pram Pram. Shem, good morning. Yeah, good morning, Kujo. Mm, thanks for calling. I'm yeah, good. Thank I'm you. Good. So, what's your question? It's not a question. My own is, why do we cry over spilled milk? The milk has already been spilled. The questions will not answer it. What I need to tell them is, Ekufuado has failed us tremendously. And I'm not partisan. Likewise, Mahama did. Likewise, Ekufuado. Somebody who said he's going to keep track of the public press, and you come and you are using my public money to go and donate money to somebody who works in the government agency. Look at the money you guys take. You can't have a welfare policy and go and pay money uh, to funeral contributions. You're telling me my taxpayers' money is supposed to be used. Whilst on the motorway yesterday, there's no light on the motorway. Is that what we need? We 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 we, we, we channel our taxes for Kujo? Come on, man. They should come clean to us. Both MPP and NDC. We've had enough of them. We've had enough. Why? Thank you very much. Well, thank you for calling us. Uh, let's, let's go to Kufuridia. Salifu is on the line. Good morning, uh, Salifu. Good morning, Mark. Kujo. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. Good. Good to hear uh, from you, Salifu. Yeah, uh, Kujo. My first question is uh, to you. Did you invite the deputy chief staff, or he just walk into your studio? Oh, <laughs> we we always invite our guests uh, to our studio, and uh, they are gracious to to uh, to heed our invitation. Very good. So you had some questions for him before he came. And he's come, he cannot even provide you with any uh, tangible uh, uh, answer. Oh, this one, he's now he's giving lectures. You wanted explanation, because yesterday the NDC people criticized all these figures. So as we invited him, you should have come with some documents detailing all the expenditure. What is wrong? Was he not part of the, the, the chief of staff who did the baguette to parliament? So why is he running away that way? He cannot give details. I mean, we don't want these lectures. And I was very upset about you, Kujo, but because of your second question that you always follow, I just said that, yes, you are doing a good job. But you allowed him to be doing lectures for more than 30 minutes. Who want answers? Funeral donations. If they invite you, can't you take all, uh, your money? I don't know uh, paying them. Can't you take your own money to do funeral donations? School fees is free. Now you are paying school fees. To whom? And you cannot give details. Uh, sorry for this government officials. Hmm. Salifu, thank you for your call. Do you know, I think we'll get answers to these uh, issues before we continue, Mr. Jinapo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, um, Kojo, I, I did not say, I did not um, give details of the 10,000 Ghana cities which is supposed to have been captured as funeral donations. I did not. I did not give you the basis for it i did not uh, i told you that um i'll check on that and get back to you that's what i said yes so yeah ten thousand ghana cities that, that's what it is and i did not um i mean one of your colleagues edmond made the point that i said it's for welfare no i haven't said i so. think that was school fees that you were yeah i was to. just i know that happens in several 
corporate entity so uh -huh. they are asking the question yes i'll get i'll get you the answers mm. i'll get you the answers and uh, those that and i'm not um engaged in any comparison here I, i've said before that it, it's one of the things that uh, i know many government uh, offices tend to do you have said we should have a national discussion on it i'm i'm very happy for us to have that discussion but i've not given any categorical answers to that but anyway i mean the um people um get to be passionate about issues that they, they find important and we have no quarrel with that that's the beauty of our democracy we are entitled to uh, hold those views but for me what is absolutely fundamental for me uh, is the fact that um, uh, we, we have moved into the era of financial discipline where government agencies are now keeping within budgets approved by parliament and particularly the office of the chief of staff which has notoriety for budgetary overruns and that on this occasion uh, that office has kept within budget for me that is very encouraging mm. we can continue with the discussion continue with the interrogation continue with the passion and what is important to us as a country and as a people mm. that is actually in accord with the principles of democratic accountability i welcome that totally and we should keep up with it but most importantly the chief of staff is demonstrated frugality she's demonstrated discipline and prudence and she's kept within the budget allocated to her by parliament okay uh, mr jenko since you've promised us those details that we asked for we I will follow up, and, follow up and uh, and bring them to our audience but we, we certainly thank you very much for your time with us this morning uh, we appreciate it we know you have to rush to other things uh, so uh, thank you very much and we'll pick it up later thank you very much Kojua. And a good, and a good morning and best wishes to your cherished listeners. Thank you. Right, so that was... Um